Spectrum Technologies, your field measurement resource, presents how to set up a watchdog retriever and pup network. The first thing you should do after receiving your retriever and pups is unpack the contents. For the retriever and each pup you ordered, you should have a parts box containing an antenna, antenna stabilizer sleeve, six AA batteries, aluminum mounting bracket, U-bolt and clamp, two nuts and two screws, and a product manual. For the retriever, you'll also have a computer connection cable and a USB flash drive. The USB flash drive will come preloaded with a setup file for the retriever and pup launch utility, which is used to configure the sensors and set the network logging interval. If you purchased any station pups, they should also come with a gray watchdog station connection cable. Before turning everything on, make sure that the retriever and all the pups are on the same network channel. They should all come set to channel zero, but if any need to be changed, this can be done with a small flathead screwdriver. Go ahead and put the batteries in the retriever. If you have a rechargeable battery pack, connect the battery using the snap connector. It will blink green quickly while powering up. Then it will blink amber to indicate that it's on and in setup mode. The retriever will stay in setup mode for 4 hours then switch into active mode automatically to save battery life. Once the retriever is on and in setup mode, start putting batteries in the pups. The pups will blink green while powering up. Then, after several seconds, the pup will blink amber several times when it broadcasts a search for the retriever. Then the pup will blink green quickly three times followed by an amber blink to indicate that it has joined the retriever's network. Do this for each of your pups. You can check to see if all the pups successfully joined the network using the launch utility. We'll show you this in the next section. While in setup mode, about every 20 seconds the pups will have synchronized blinking, green then amber to indicate that they're communicating with the network. Now that all the pups are on and talking to the retriever, it's time to configure the system. Plug in the provided USB cable to the computer and the other end to the retriever's PC port. It will automatically install the drivers. To open the retriever and pup launch utility program, plug the flash drive that came with the retriever into the computer and run the setup file. If all pups successfully join the Retriever's network, they will all show up automatically in the pups list. If any pups haven't joined the network, hold the pups button for 8 seconds and it should join the network and show up in the pups list. On the Retriever screen, you can name the Retriever, change the network data logging interval, and optionally set its location. To configure the pup, click the button next to it on the pups list. On the pup screen, you can name each pup, set its location, and set its sensor configuration. Most sensors can give high, low, current, or average readings. Each pup can display up to 16 data points, enough for four sensors and four readings per sensor. Repeat this for all pups. When you're done, save the settings using the Save to Retriever button at the top of the screen. When the retriever gets the configuration from the computer, it will immediately begin to send the settings to each pup. The pups will flash green quickly three times when they receive their configuration. Once everything is set up, keep the power on the retriever and all the pups. This way the configurations won't be lost. The best way to deploy the mesh network is installing the closest pup to the retriever, then move outward. First decide where you're going to deploy the retriever. If you're using a direct connect computer cord or power cord, make sure to either put the retriever outside or use an antenna extension that will be mounted outside. Use the bracket, U-bolt, and nuts to mount the retriever onto a 1-inch pole. Start by installing the two screws into the back of the retriever. Slide the mounting bracket over the 1-inch pole, then tighten the bolt so it's firm. Then attach the retriever to the mounting bracket and tighten the screws. If you're using a rechargeable retriever, keep in mind to deploy the solar panel so it receives an optimal amount of sunlight and isn't covered in shadow for parts of the day. 
To install the solar panel, start by attaching the mounting bracket onto the solar panel. Then attach to the bolts, then tighten the nuts. Now take the solar panel wires and feed them through the cable gland, then into the retriever. Insert the wires into the plug, red wire into the positive terminal, and black wire into the negative terminal. Tighten down the screws, then plug into the power port of the retriever. Then tighten the cable gland. Install the USB drive into the USB port of the retriever. The retriever's antenna needs to be as high as possible to achieve the best possible line of sight to its closest pup. Attach the antenna to the retriever. The retriever needs to be in setup mode. This is indicated by the fast amber flashes. If the retriever is not in setup mode, hold the button for two seconds. This will change it into setup mode. The light will flash amber slowly. Once it's ready, it flashes amber quickly. Now move to the first pup location. When you arrive at the desired location for the pup nearest to the retriever, attach its antenna. To check the pup's signal strength, Hold the button for two seconds and the responding flash will tell you whether it can communicate with the retriever. A green flash means you have a great signal. Amber flash means marginal. And a red flash means it's a bad connection or can't see the network at all. If you get an amber or red flash, try finding a higher location or a way to mount the antenna higher and try again. Or relocate the pup to be closer to the retriever. Since this pup will be the closest to the retriever and could be passing data from the other pups, it is important to have good signal strength. Remember that to achieve an optimal line of sight, you should mount the antenna at least three feet above crop height. Other signal obstructions include trees, buildings, and hilly terrain. If you're having trouble getting reliable communication in your network, consider adding repeater pups in between weak signal paths. For example, if you want to measure environmental data in a low spot of your field but are having trouble communicating with the network from that location, consider adding a repeater pup that can reach the pup in the low spot as well as the other pups or the retriever. Use the bracket, U-bolt, and nuts to mount the pup. Then install or mount any of the pup's external sensors. Remember to close and latch the case door when you're finished. Continue placing all of your pups until the network is complete. Once you're confident in the setup of your retriever and pup's mesh network, you can return to the retriever. To switch the system from setup mode to active mode, hold the button on the retriever for two seconds. When the system has been switched into active mode, the retriever will stop flashing amber. The retriever will automatically switch into active mode after four hours to save battery life. This is a good time to double check that your data is all being logged by the retriever. If your retriever is directly connected to a computer, you can check for current data in the retriever and pup's launch utility program on the computer. The data will be available after a logging interval is complete. To check that data is being logged to the USB flash drive, you can remove it from the retriever after waiting for one logging interval, plug it into a computer, and open the files. Make sure to return the flash drive to the retriever when you're done. And close and latch the case door. For more information about the Watchdog Retriever and Pups or Spectrum Technologies, please visit us online at specmeters.com. Thank you.